is the only complete shark skull we've got. Uh, it came at the Kimmage clay from the nodule near Weymouth and it was prepped out by a friend of mine and I carried on the prep and I finished it off. Um, and what you see is it's got open jaws, it's squashed that way so it's crushed in, okay, but you see the open jaws. Around the periphery, a typical high boater shark teeth because that's a high bodent shark. Um, these are the, these flanges here, the lower jaws, but they're sort of crushed that way. Um, the eyes would be just on the top of the, where those openings are, and then just on this side only, because the other side matches that side, but this is worn off on the nodule, is a pair of what we call cephalic head spines. So you can see there's a plate just at the top there with like a hook hanging down, it looks like a tooth, okay? And then just about two inches below is another plate matching that with a much larger corresponding sort of hook on it that actually goes behind that dentary. Um, and they're what we call cephalic head spines. Uh, they only occur on the male sharks. We don't know what function they are, but there must be some decorative thing or something. That, um, but we only find these on the sort of male sharks. But this, is a, as a find, is extremely rare. Interestingly as well, on the back here, there's a typical high bowden shark fin spine that's been worn off. You've just got the base of it going in the back of the skull, okay? And years ago, it's very diagnostic in the sense it looks like this fin spine to the left here. And those fin spines, are, the, the name would, would be astracanthus. And with these denticles on there, they correspond with the shark that has crushing teeth in the lower chemistry clay which is very unusual. So this one's got typical high bodice teeth, which are pointed like shark teeth you get today, and yet it's got one of those astrocanthus fin spines in the back of the skull. And a few experts looked at it and said, well, we think that the fin spine is not from the same, spe same, same specimen. We think that's from another shark. Well, I don't agree with that. It's so it's untypical to find a shark fin spine from another species of shark in the, embedded in the back of the skull. And when you think about it, and you go up through time into the pervet beds, we get lots and lots of um, astrocanthus fin spines, lots and lots of high bodice teeth like this, okay? And the typical fin spine for this would be a fin spine rather like that one there to the left of that astrocanthus, which is, which is a, a thin fin spine with like ridges, lines that run up to the apex of the top of it. So when you go to the pervet beds, you find lots and lots of Two, two different thin spines, lots and lots of typical high bodice teeth, none of the crushing teeth. And since, we've, since this has been found in Sonhofen in Germany, they've actually found a complete shark, which has got the same dentition as this, same cephalic head spines, and the same fin spines as that. So there's a sort of crossover a high bodice um, shark that you get. So we, we, we now know that that fin spine is with that specimen, and um, not all these fin spines are from actually sharks with crushing teeth they're from these as well so that's all we've got for you today from the etches collection thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for more and hopefully we'll see you next time